The more recent Aliens uh, movies haven't been great. They've been so-so. They've been kind of, you kind of have to make peace with them. Um, but that being said, this week, an awesome Aliens comic came out called Aliens Dead Orbit. Uh, it is by uh, James Stokoe, published by uh, Dark Horse Comics, who have been making Aliens things since, uh, you know, Forever, the second yeah. movie came out, I think. Um, this is uh, one of my favorite Aliens comics I've ever read. Um, I actually waited to, it was coming out issue by issue, and I just waited because I was like, I want to read this in one sitting. It's 18 bucks, uh, and it feels like, um, it feels like if they made a manga based on Aliens, which amazingly, in spite of how popular um, Aliens is in Japan, that's never really happened. Um, the art style, it's, you know, it's clearly, it's a bit more Western, but the art style reminds me a ton of, uh, uh, Katsuhiro Otomo, who did uh, Akira, yep. and Junji Ito, who's done a bunch of uh, horror stuff, including uh, was working on Silent Hills. Uh, and I figured I'd show off some of the art here. Uh, I've got a screen here. Uh, it's it's very stylized. It's got a lot of very. It's got a lot of speed lines. It's got a lot of uh, you know kind of veins and foreheads and a lot of hatching. Uh, and it's just it's it's a good mix of kind of action and horror. It's a sh it's a short read, but um, if you're kind of you know if you're hungry for like a proper alien story that. Um, I don't know, it doesn't randomly have two Michael Fassbenders in it. This is a, you know, a good option. And so this book is a complete story, right? Totally, totally self-contained. It's Got it. it feels like um I mean, it's it feels like just a good like '90s trade paperback, the kind of thing that would come out. You and know. does it take place like? Is it woven between any of the films? Is it kind of like a standalone story? It's totally standalone. Marines? I mean, if you know what a xenomorph is and you know what that universe looks like, it's I, it's actually kind of unclear. Uh, it says you know it's it's titled Aliens, but it feels more in line with Alien. Um, the suits all have that kind of John Mallow like quilted sort of Nostromo design to them, yep. uh, and it's just about a bunch of sort of space truckers getting in trouble. Uh, but I figured I'd show off some of the artwork here. It's a really awesome mix of like really disgusting body horror, but also a lot of great mechanical design. That's incredible. Um, this shot here reminded me specifically of um, some of the stuff you'd see in Akira. Like all just, yeah. the, the, just, the, just the density of that line work is yes. really incredible. Uh, and at the same time, they also have um, some really disgusting oh, parts. Damn! Uh, I love that that dude just looks like one of the Attack on Titan. Titans. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's just a regular like sized Lord person who just, Power yeah, who just doesn't have any skin. Uh, with a nice old chest burster there, which totally felt like uh, like Junjito's disgusting, uh, disgusting stuff in there. Uh, so yeah, if you're if you're looking for a good a good gruesome alien movie or uh, you know comic or story, just uh, grab this. It's out this week. It's it's so good. I can't recommend it enough. So. You got that from Amazon, right? It was just on Amazon. Actually, I actually pre-ordered it, so it showed up as a nice surprise. That's um, awesome. But you don't have to take my word for it. Da -dun -dun. Anyway, if you want to check out more videos about aliens, we talked about all the aliens video games that we wish that they would make and how do you make a good aliens video game. And really, that doesn't have much to do with books or manga or anything. We did talk about the Akira manga, which I think you should go read. Just go click on the videos. Click on all of them. Click on Up at Noon. Watch Up at Noon. It's, it's every, every Thursday at noon on uh, Pacific time. We do it live, but then we put up the recording. You don't need a VCR or anything. It's great. You can just watch it. I hope you enjoy the videos. We have fun making them. Read comic books. They're great. They're good for your imagination, and they don't hurt your eyes as much as screens. Don't look at screens so much. Anyway, have a good night. Goodbye. That boy ain't right in the head.